are going to purge in Elegant City. But I have a sad update for you this time around. Just received some very sad news about this place. All those buildings to the left on the south side of the road will be demolished to make room for widening Tiber Creek. All those historic buildings you see there are about to be lost. All of those on that side of the street. In my last video, I reported that the Kaplans would be torn down, but now so are the others. down to there, down, down to the Phoenix Emporium. This will all soon be lost. So take a good long look. As I said before, there was a building there that blew up in the 90s, which they had to tear down. Also historic. But that'll be all made into a park, like that little area right there. The Epistry will be replaced by a park. Due to Tiber Creek needing widening, the way the water overflowing into Main Street. So there's the flood control they're planning. These folks are going through great pains to restore this place. And it's about to all be lost. Well, that will soon be history, literally, but the wrong kind of history. Looking between two buildings, there's a wooden staircase there, part of which the flood rubbed out. Everything on that side of the road is about to go. Not just Kaplan's, but everything else as well. All these nice classy buildings will soon be lost. because Tiber Creek flows beneath them. And again, a sidewalk sale, kind of, sort of. Nice day for it though. The time was trying 80 and partly cloudy. Not a lot of sun right now. These folks are doing the best they can down here. Dolly's telling her life story now. Got a watchdog there. Hey, doggy. Even the dog is easy strong. I understand I showed you in my last update. Lady said the store be open by October, but it's due to be torn down. And again, the rock formation that's 300 million years old. Oh, but it's seen a lot of floods. And of course, as I showed you before, beyond which are some restored businesses.
and again Taylor's, which shows you my last update, which I believe is also going to go. I guess no thanks to Tiber Creek being beneath these buildings. As I keep saying, if I go in there, I'm not coming back out. Lock me in there and throw the key away. Down there is where old US-29 used to come in, despite that pole being in the way. My understanding is these buildings here to the west of old 29 will be preserved. They will stay. But the buildings beyond there beginning with Taylor's and going down to that Phoenix Emporium will be torn down to Wyatt and Tiber Creek. I think we're about to lose more history. It's such a shame that the landscape here will soon change. And this place will have a totally different look. Especially there on the south side. I guess all we can do is stay strong. In more places it'll still be here. But the nicer stuff is down there. Some easy start buildings were about to go. Good old fashioned department stores. Don't see many of them these days anymore. Thanks to shopping malls, stuff like that. Again, our sidewalk sales. Fudge shop. I can't go in there. I won't come back out. The buildings on the north side there will stay around. Without the buildings on the south side, this place will look a lot emptier. In October to open up. I thought they were going to tear down the buildings on this side of the road, though. That's down there. Down there? Bottom of the hill. Oh, where, where, do, where are they going to start from? Do you know? Kaplan. From Kaplan's on down. Okay. And Still a shame, though. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, something here will stay. Just Kaplan's on east. So these here buildings will all stay. Only from Kaplan's West will they be torn down. I guess that's where Tiber Creek begins flowing beneath them. So east from right there on east, they'll be torn down. From Kaplan's on down. And I'm going to place Surge in our last update. Maybe we met also in our last update. There she is. She's there. From the cans. Oh. Well, how are you? How you doing? How are you? Saw you last Sunday too. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You did. Shame to turn the buildings down past Kaplan's there. Yeah, they're all going. They're all going. Ooh. But that's where Tiber oh. Creek is. Kaplan's the Tiber Creek is beneath Tiber there. Tiber Creek. Right. Yeah. That's the cause of it all. Tiber Creek. Right. Yep. Hey. Oh. Hello. Yeah. Oh. Old Bay hat. I like those. Yeah, you like that. He's a hat guy. Yeah. I'm an old Bay kind of guy. I know. Older woman. She likes these. Mm -hmm. 
because her hair she she wears a wig because she's too hot. Yeah. So she had a winter hat, she's got them thick. So she had one so she wears a Yeah. And there's my mug. Salad. Salad. And then winter. Yeah, and my socks too. Winter. You've got spaghetti and meatballs on them. And strawberries and things. Here's our frog. Oh, you're oh, right. Yeah, the shopping frog. frog. Yeah, All right. I guess that's supposed to be me. Oh, yeah. There you go. So everything from there on down will be torn down. It's here at the bend in the road where Tiber Creek comes in from the south, from the right. It flows beneath those buildings. They gotta widen it to keep the water there and out of the road. But only one problem with those buildings being torn down. This place will risk losing its National Historical designation from the U.S. government. They may lose that status if these buildings are torn down. They have that status now on the National Register, but if they're torn down, EC may lose its National Historic status. What a shame. All this stuff will soon be history. Literally. So I guess soon there'll be no more tea on the Tiber. Yes, in a little while this place will look radically different. It'll be replaced by a park. Right about now. They could use some of that here. But again, there's the culprit. Tiber Creek. They're flying beneath the buildings. It looks very peaceful now. But I'm surprised the recent rain in June and July and some of August didn't worsen it again didn't make a third flood very destructive we have all this history 1858 for the Phoenix Emporium and it will soon be history but the wrong kind still can't wait to see those bubbles again So everything from Phoenix up to Kaplan's will soon go. And this place risks losing its historic status with the feds. That too is equally sad. There'll be no more federal funding for historic buildings that need repair. And once again, Tiber Creek, the culprit. And up there, CSX. What you see here, oh, loud traffic. What you're looking at there is the former Oliver Viaduct. There were three arches at one time, one there and two over the road. But they got removed back in the 40s or 50s. Or before that, maybe. But soon there'll be no more happy hour there at the Phoenix. I 
and again this country's oldest train station and possibly the world's oldest I recently did a video on this as part of my Historic Maryland series in case you didn't view it yet I'll give you a quick preview and it's free, I'll take it Hello, how are you? Hi. Hi. When I did my Start Merlin video, they had a cat sleeping on that bed. Now the cat's over there. And of course, Ellicott City was once known as Ellicott's Mills due to the mills here that were set up here going back to the 1790s. Telegraph going by itself. All of this is waiting for you in my Historic Maryland video. Also in the other video, you'll see me do this. Just like ringing a bell. And the turntable site. Just a small turntable for turning around the small locomotives they had. You can't turn a Jeevo around on those, or a Jeep. Too small. And behind there, the freight house. Oh, there's my Chessie. I miss those days. And separate rooms for men and women. How about that? And that guy up there, whoever he is. Here it is. Your preview of my historic marathon video. In case you haven't watched it yet. If you've watched it already, thank you. Okay, back out to Ellicott City. Still, I wish there was still a station where trains stopped. They should run those mark commuter trains this way. And of course, places appear further up, sustain little damage, and they opened really early on. Still, bring back those bubbles. But everything over there, from Kaplan's on down, will soon go. I don't know if it's going to be soon or later on, but they're due to go. But these places here will still be around. The places without Tiber Creek beneath them. I'm like an old US-29 there, which maybe I'll use as an escape route. I'll turn that way now. Yeah, but one time US-29 began right here and ran as far as Pensacola, Florida as I've been telling you. It's been relocated a couple of miles to the, to the west, to the left. And departing EC. Still, except those oldest historic buildings have to be torn down 
due to Tiber Creek needing widening. So, another EC update for you. Albeit a sad one. But I guess, unfortunately, they have to move on and stop those floods. Alright, see you again. Stay tuned for the next one.